Hello and welcome to my unwrapping and review of Warhammer Imperium issue 26. In this issue we are given a Tech Priest Dominus. Uh, we also have to learn more about the Tech Priests and battle the Necrons in the new mission. So as I mentioned we get the Tech Priest Dominus sprue, or sprues I should say, inside this edition. This will now be my fifth Tech Priest Dominus. So I can tell you now this fella is going to get kit bashed. I have an idea of what to kitbash him in with. But you might just go in the pile of shame. Sorry, a pile of inspiration. Also featured a 50mm base as well. So let's see what Ian's got to say about this issue. In this issue of Imperium introduces the terrifying Tech Priest Dominus. Ex what? Terrifying? Okay. Uh, Tech Priest Dominus and includes an article all about the hierarchy and ranks of the, of the Cult Mechanicus. This issue extends the paint guide and will show you how to apply the first few layers of paint to your new model. You will then be able to field your new Tech Priest Dominus in a thrilling new mission. Happy hobbying from Ian. Thanks Ian. So the Tech Priest Dominus, the Deputy Mechanicus Commander, um, are trained in the arts of war and able to command their legions with machine-like precision. They utilize the mastery of battle robotics and lead their mechanized legions in crusades for knowledge and long lost imperial technology. So the Obsidian Axe, holy icons of the cult Mechanicus, Obsidian, uh, obs Omniscient, sorry, Axes are issued to those tech priests who have served the machine gods faithfully in battle. The bearer of such a weapon is treated with great respect by their kin. And the Server Skull as well, crafted from the remains of loyal imperial servants. Server Skulls serve many roles. This Server Skull has been fitted with a diagnostic and sensory equipment with, uh, with which to aid its tech priest master. The Volkite Blaster. One of the few Volkite weapons still in use by the imperial forces, the Volkite Blaster is a thermal ray weapon that's capable of incinerating organic matter, reducing enemies to ash. And a Phosphor sem uh, Sempia, Sempeta, basically a giant revolver. Fossil weapons fire globes of red hot, superheated gas that burn with great intensity, lighting up the target. Those struck by such weapons are eliminate, illuminated by its flame, making them easy targets. So basically, a revolver that fires fireballs. Awesome. See, this makes more sense now. Battle record and giving names and honorifics to a character. This makes more sense rather than naming Necron Warrior number 52. So you get the name to the axe, the achievement of the axe, the blaster, the achievement and the pistol and the blaster as well. Given it his name as well, you can give it like, um, oh, the name chart itself, so roll 2d6. Titles as well. Tally marker, record the number of wounds repaired by the Tech Priest Master or Machine's ability so they can repair um, vehicles in Depths Mechanicus. I'm pretty sure as well, I don't know if it was changed in the most recent codex, that they can actually repair Kaifion battle servitors, which we should be getting in the in the next few issues. I don't know exactly when, but then. Keepers of Divine Law. That's another amazing piece of artwork for the Depths Mechanicus. I absolutely love this artwork here. Holy Orders as well, the Magi, the Generators, Logi, and the Artisans. If you have the Depths of Mechanicus Codex or Ninth Edition, you know exactly what these are. Um, there are more rules added on to an already um, rule-heavy army, in my opinion, but they're still quite cool rules. Building Dominus is so easy, I could probably build one in my sleep. This would be my fifth one now. <laughs> Very simple, straightforward. There's 10 parts, I believe. 12A, actually. Is there anything else? So 12A and assume a 12B. Yes, so there's two head options and there's two weapon options. But I assume inside of this issue, they're telling you how to do a specific issue, which is the uh, Volkite Blaster. Because you get a Volkite Blaster and a Eradication Ray, I believe. So on this brewer, it does actually come with the Eradication Ray on one side. You can build either or option. So actually, by looking at the Tech Priest Dominus, on the front of the issue, you'll see him with, um, I can't, don't quite exactly know, I bleed light out of the way, don't exactly know how to call this, like a top hat sort of fella underneath his robes. The actual mini a miniature featured has got the uh, Bono Scatari sort of like hood. And this is built, telling you how to build um, with the um, the hood, not the, the top hat. 
So three coats of lead bulbs over the base, and then corn red. Corn red? Oh, okay. I thought it would be Mephiston red. I don't know. I painted my Sotari all sand colour, so I don't know. Actually, my Dominus are actually brown. Oh, using Agra's Earthshade making them look much better now. How to build the Volkite, or how to paint the Volkite weapon as well. How to the Mechanicus symbol. None oil on the flesh. Korax white. Korax white for his skin. I thought I would have gone for Rakhar flesh, to be honest with you. Oh, showing how to do all the Mechanicus as well. All the um, Skatari stuff that we've, excuse me, we've already um, had in previous issues. Rakhar flesh as well for the uh, purity seals. And there we go. That's looking a lot better. Right now, just there. That's looking a lot, lot better now. Of course, we're still missing uh, some bright colours, like either green for, like, you know, um, the, um, I don't know, the things on his back, basically, that bubble and hiss. Looking a lot better now. And the dating sheet for Techpiece Dominus, it has got only the rules for the Volkite Blaster, not the Eradication Array. So kind of cutting out a bit of um, customization here. They could either say, I don't think it would take that much ink to say you could either use the um, Volkite Blaster or the Eradication Ray. These weapons with different options, see what you want to do. But I assume that this magazine is to be there to get new people into the hobby. Try not to give them too many rules when they start off. But we'll give them too many rules when they start playing that edition fully. Basic rules. Oh yeah, that's from the rule book as well there. Keywords as well, moving to keywords now. Cleanser sector. Another little battle mission report as well. There we go. And this one has five Necron Warriors and one Royal Warden. And we've got one Tech Beast Dominus and ten Skatai Rangers. So yeah, Ad Mech versus um, Necrons has a great mashup. And on the back cover, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> so, oh, Jesus. So the next two issues for me are not going to be great. Because we've got the uh, Reactor, History of the Imperium, and a dated rules and reference in issue 27. I can't remember, because Conquest and Imperium are moulding into one for me. I can't remember if we've already been given one of these reactors. But I've got three of them already. From Conquest, and I think I'm getting another three. There'll be six in total. Uh, and in issue 28 and issue 29, we'll be getting a, a part one and part two of more Necron Warriors. So if you haven't, if you've already um, built your Necron Warriors from previous issues and you've just watched my video on how to turn a Necron Immortal box brew into 15 miniatures, you have now got the option to get issue 28 and 29, get those two sprues and then use them to change these into 15 fellas. Another plug of my most popular video on the YouTube channel, but I do highly recommend uh, giving it a watch. It's a great way to learn how to save yourself quite a bit of money. There you go, there is the, that's the entire month. That is this month's um, issues of One Imperium over with. Uh, join me in the next video. We'll be looking at the special goodies we got given with uh, March's or well, February's um, delivery. Catch you then.